<laughs> Rainy Grays. Thank you for joining us for our April Fat Fiber Sampler Box preview video. This month our theme is Rainy Grays. Looking forward to showing you all these fantastic samples that our contributors sent in. We've got yarn fiber, stitch markers, um, we've even got a felted ball kit. So it'll be really fun to show you all the different things that people have sent in. So let's get started. This is from the Hippie Homemaker and Claire sent us BFL in a colorway called Cloud Burst. And it's got beautiful soft cream color and gray and several different blues in there. I think it's lovely. Laughing Lamb sent us some charcoal bamboo top. If you've never worked with this, it's super soft and yet it still feels grabby. So I think you could spin this. If you spun it just by itself, you can spin this pretty fine as opposed to regular bamboo that's very slippery. Gary Lynn sent us a pattern called After the Storm. She's got several pictures included. I thought this was a really fun and versatile shoulder shawl pattern. And she says that you'll need size 8 needles, size 5 needles, and you'll want fingering weight wool is what she used. About 410 yards. Oh. Oh, you tie it. I looked at the front part and I thought it was like all one thing. Like a big rainbow donut. But it's not. It's a shawl. It's a shawl. Sarah at Sparkle Stitching sent us in um, several different ones, but these were the ones that I picked to highlight. Um, little stitch markers, and I think they're really adorable. They're on snag-free wires. So these will slide right across your needles without getting caught in your knitting. Work and be fun. A dark and stormy. One part lime juice, one part dark rum. 12 ounce bottle of ginger beer. Oh wait, wrong dark and stormy. Tara at the Dying Arts sent us roving and um, yarn again. This is a colorway she calls dark and stormy. The yarn is Superwash Corydale Wool and it's got some beautiful grays and blues in there. And then this is Winsleydale Wool. Winsleydale, you're going to have to redo your video because you mispronounced it. <laughs> Which is super fluffy and soft and you can see that curl and shine. Shiny briny. She's like my sister. Sort of. This fluffy roll egg is from Christy at Shiny Briny. She's a new fatty and she's just getting her fibers going in her shop. This is, it looks like some bamboo viscous and I think she said this is Shetland and some merino wool. Look at all the different pretty colors in there with the gray. And this stuff is super soft and fluffy. It would be a delight to spin. This month, Mama Jude sent us um, some fluff as well as some felted ball and felted egg kits. So she's got the little wooden ball that's the center and the wool that's included and the instructions on how to make your own felted ball. I love the colors in this. I don't know if you can see all those greens and blues. They definitely remind me of spring. Felted ball kit. Stormy weather. Fiber Quirks sent us in um, some of her song series bats, and these ones are called Stormy Weather, and they're Merino and Firestar. And there's just a rich, rich purple coming through here. So beautiful. And then some soft gray to wrap around that with some very dark colors in there. Hip Strings sent us this fiber blend that she calls Titmouse, and it is 50% merino wool, 25% baby alpaca, and 25% mulberry silk. So you've got the shine of the silk and the softness of the alpaca and the wool, and it's just super fluffy. The winemaker's sister. I always wonder what's going to come out of there. Heather, winemaker's sister, sent us these beautiful rain-inspired 
stitch markers. There's three little jewels and an open and closed umbrella. The super box gets the whole set and if you want the entire set you can get that on her site, on her Etsy store. Tiffany, the Wooly Witch, sent us these beautiful Rolex for our boxes this month and in the super box we get all three. She calls this one Dewdrop and it has Merino Bamboo Cultivated Silk and Angelina. This is Nimbus. It's Merino Sea Cell Baby Alpaca and Carbonized Bamboo. And then this one is Monet. It's got Firestar 19 and 21 Micron Merino. They're all super fluffy and soft. The Wooly Witch sent sweet rolls. Girl with a Sword sent us these fun little tubes with her hand spun yarn. And I wanted to show you how fun they were packaged. And I'm just delighted to have some hand spun art yarn in our box. This has sparkle in it. This is some kind of a, a wool with lots of different sparklies and, and locks and curls. Let's see if we can get real nice and close on that. Look how pretty that is. You can put it back. <laughs> yeah. Spin Fusion sent these really fun bats with lots and lots of sparkle in them, and she titled them "It's Raining Glitter," and it really is. In the studio, there's glitter everywhere. We've got some beautiful um, holographic Angelina in here. There's some black Angelina. She's got superwash merino bamboo nylon and fire star so there's lots of sparkle and fluff in these fun little bats and i think they would be a blast to spin oh wow that's got all kinds of cool flyaway stuff that'll do neat things when you do that spinning thing jess from broadway creations sent us these beautiful rolex that she calls purple nebula and they have merino bamboo soft silk and angelina and you can see there's a little Angelina sparkle in there. These have various shades of purple from periwinkle blue up into a soft lavender. But I thought they're really fun. This month for Wonderland Fiber I decided to do stitch markers in knitter and spinning style. But they're the lobster claws so even though they might be a little bit snaggy if you use them on your needles you can mark the front or back of your work. You can use them for a zipper pull. They have all kinds of fun uses with that lobster claw attached. From the Maelstress. Sunrise Fiber Company sent us these beautiful mini skeins called Mount Hood Sunrise. And this is on Moxie Sock. It's Superwash Merino. It's a single. It is absolutely lovely. I think it would be such a blast to knit with this yarn. And I love the colorway. Wanda at Silly Sheep Design sent us these cute little um, split ring stitch markers with the umbrella on them and a little clear purple bead. This is a stitch marker. That's the umbrella. Queen Conk Rare Breed Fibers. This is like the green after the rain. Jennifer at Queen Conk Rare Breed Fibers sent us these beautiful skeins. There's yellows in there, green, and black. These are called Andean Mists, and it's a green-gray. And she said this is 95% alpaca and 5% paco vicuna. Well, she said this is um, not a wild vicuna. This is a much more affordable um, domesticated animal that's very closely it's bred to be very closely related to the wild vicuna. And just now my mailman came and he brought Bristle Ridge alpacas and she sent us raw hukea alpaca and I had to look up, Barbara and I were talking about how to pronounce it because I thought it was hukaya and um, she thought it was huakea and when I looked it up online it said that the beginning sound is a woo, woo kea, woo kea. So that's what it says online. I, um, feel free to correct me or help me figure out how the, how do you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, this is raw 
Wukea fiber alpaca. It's super soft and fluffy, and she has instructions included on how to wash it so that you can um, wash it up yourself and spin it. It's like they study softly that. Uh, ha! Painted lips. Designs by Tammy sent us in these little grays. Some of them are images of knitting. And each of the sampler boxes that gets one of these will just get a single, but from the super box we get a whole set. They're like shiny glass after a rain. The woolly lion! Kristen with the woolly lion sent us these gorgeous little skeins that have um, purple and green in a in kind of a grayed out tones and she called these rainy day mushroom pillow which I thought was a very fun name and it's super wash and nylon. Narwhal Knits sent us these gorgeous little Rolex with gray into blue gradient and some sparkle and she calls these April showers and they have merino Angelina and some of that carbonized bamboo. And it variegates from a light blue to a purpley gray kind of thingamajig. Alice at Handmade Hollows sent us these beautiful braids. I think that they're kind of beautiful moody colors. There's gray and blue and purple all mixed in together there. And she called this Blue Jay. It's alpaca, merino, fin, polypay, combed top. So bad. Ha! And made hollows, I knew it. Wanda and Ellen at Fiber Curio and Sundries sent us these beautiful, large, fluffy samples. These are CVM wool, alpaca, silk, and, bo and bamboo. And they, she says, featuring U.S. small farm fiber. So they like to focus on um, fibers from the U.S. and small fibers, small farms, which I think is kind of wonderful. CVM wool. Mm -hmm. Clearview macaroon. No. CVM. It's a breed. Ah. That they raise. Alpaca silk and bamboo, featuring U.S. small farm fiber. Small farms, big sample. Happies! They're like little happy fiber pills. Willow Fairy Wool sent us some of her Rolex that she likes to call happies. And they can have all kinds of different things in them. Um, wool, kid mohair, alpaca, silk, camel yak, cashmere, faux cashmere, bamboo, rose fiber, angelina, or just about anything that she has in the studio at the time when she wants to make these. But I really love the colors that she chose for these. I think they really do kind of epitomize happies. And that's what she's thinking about when she has a rainy day. She likes to spin up things that make her happy. Gloria Patre sent us these beautiful larger gray stitch markers with the stones on them. They're so pretty with some candy. But these are a nice large size for our larger knitting needles. When some of you don't get candy, it's because I ate it. Luth Varian Fiber Arts sent us these beautiful Rolags this month and they are Cory Dale with silk and they are so soft and fluffy. I absolutely love these Rolags and I think they'd be a real treat to spin. She titled this one Pluvian. Barbara with Kitty Minecraft sent us three different luxurious blends this month. And um, let's see, this one has gray merino and tussa silk. This one, my favorite, is the Tibetan Yak with mulberry silk. Super soft. And then this one is BFL wool and carbonized bamboo. They're all really soft and fun combinations of grayed colors. This one has a little more brown. This one's a little bit more cream color and yellow. This was a bit softer of a gray. This has Tibetan yak. These little skeins are from um, Shades of Light and she said that gray wasn't really her color so she took jewel tones, these beautiful colors, and she over dyed it with gray so that it would get that softened darker tone to it. She titled these 
Deep Forest. These are superwash merino nylon with that Stellina sparkle. This thing, I read the description, was dyed in a number of underlying different ways. So it's kind of like one of those fancy Renaissance glaze paintings that you'll have to sit and look at and try and figure out. A new fat fiber person. The Yarnster. The Yarnster. Nice. I tied them together for you. That's why they won't come apart. <laughs> What a great box to usher in spring. These are some of the samples that you could see in your box. Not every sample appears in every box. And remember that each person who sends us samples is an independent artist. And sometimes they can only send in a few samples. So we try and spread them out as best we can, but you never know what you're gonna get. So hopefully you like this. If you see something you like that you don't get in your box, I include links on everything so you can find more. <laughs> These are some more samples that could be in your box. I'm singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. Just laughing at clouds. Go wandering by. I don't remember the rest of the words. The tune dies. 